Hey guys, it's Veronica. Um, I'm here doing haul videos for the Cottage Shop. It is a thrift store in uh, Houston, Texas in the Montrose area. It completely benefits the women's home that um, provide rehabilitation services and support to women in crisis and women in need. It's a really great uh, facility in case you missed my um, earlier videos. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, you walk in and there's a homeware section, lots of really great art on the wall. They have your typical run-of-the-mill uh, pants and shirts and uh, dress section. Everything in that those sections run between about three and five dollars. So tops are three dollars, pants are four dollars, dresses are five dollars. And let me tell you, you can get some really cute stuff. Most of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about in my haul video were from the thrift section. Um, they also have a boutique section as well though, and that's usually some of the nicer items, some of the brand names, and they're going to run you a little bit more money, but you can get some really great classic name brand designer items for like pennies on the dollar. So it's really something to look into. There's shoes, there's jewelry, anything you can imagine, this place has it. And like I said, it's a great cause. and. I'm going to be just showing you some of the items that I found when I was looking around in there. Um, maybe you can uh, get inspiration from some of this or you will be inspired to go to your own thrift shops in your own areas and uh, give them your business and support your local um, your local charities, I guess. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyway, so what I've done is I've divided my haul up into a couple categories. I've got a um, young professional category. I mentioned earlier in the video that I'm a recent graduate. So we've got some clothes that are going to be more appropriate for the workplace and for um, a more grown-up setting. I also picked out some casual summer dresses, some clothes that you could just wear hanging out. And then I also picked out some really cool, uh, interesting pieces that definitely fit my uh, hippie vibe. And I just hope you really enjoy it. So enough talk and let's look at the clothes. Okay, so my first item is this pair of uh, slacks. They're these really gorgeous white cream colored Giorgio Armani pants. And guys, okay. I kept the price tag on so I could show you. Ten dollars. Ten dollars for a pair of really beautiful classic pants. This uh, material is light, it's soft, it's airy. It's great for those of us who have to work in the heat but still need to look professional. So I also picked out some kind of interesting tops that I thought would work well with these slacks. Uh, we have this a uh, silk top. It's kind of got like a tribal paisley kind of pattern. It's got some black, some tan, some gray, you know, with a pair of uh, pumps, maybe like these. It would just be a really nice professional outfit. Um, I also picked out this silk uh, leopard print top. Animal prints are still really, really fashionable right now. You'd probably want to pair this with maybe a black blazer or a little cardigan because, you know, bare shoulders can kind of be meh, give or take depending on where you work. Um, so that's those outfits. We also uh, have these uh, taupe colored pants. They are uh, Rebecca Taylor really nice. They've got this cute little dot pattern, like pink and white. You know, just add a little extra intrigue besides your run-of-the-mill uh, khaki pants. And I found this adorable top that is kind of monochromatic, but it also has some bright colors, some blue, some yellow. So it's a neutral top. It's totally workplace appropriate, but it also adds a little bit of intrigue. Uh, it's got these really adorable little ruffles. I love ruffles. Uh, cute little girly touches. You know, with a pair of cute earrings, this would be a great workday outfit. So, there's that. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm talking about trying to find workday clothes. I find it a little difficult being 22 and having a degree and going out with professional force. Finding clothes that are 
young enough that I don't feel like I'm wearing my mom's clothes and playing dress up, you know? I still want to be taken seriously as an adult, but I also want to act my age and show my style. So I'm hoping you're kind of getting that vibe with what I'm showing you, but we'll keep going. Um, I like pants, but I'm also a very big skirt person. I love skirts. I love dresses. So I found this really, really, really cute skirt. It's got some red, some orange, some purple, some green, some blue, any color. It's just really fun. It's also long enough that it's going to be appropriate for work and you're not going to have to, it's not too flowy, so you don't have to worry about it Marilyn monroe on you. And I also found this really nice silk top from Talbot's. It's this dark teal that I just really love. It's got some little ruching detail up here at the top. And I figure these would be great together. The blue would kind of tone down all the red, but there's still some blue in this outfit, so it kind of works out that way. I think that'd be a great workday outfit. Um, there's also this really fun uh, blue and brown skirts kind of got this floral print I love florals florals are great for spring and summer and just really kind of brightens up any outfit so I also thought these two would make a good pair maybe get like a thick belt in between we'll see um, we also I also found this really great sweater dress uh, let's see here let's get it all folded right I really like the neckline on it I like that there's a little bit of substance to it. It's this really pretty Kelly green and it just would be really comfortable with maybe like some booties and I'd probably want to put a sweater over this as well just because it's sleeveless. Um, now to wrap up the young professional segment of this haul, I've picked out some really great classic black and white pieces. You know, my grandmother always told me, and I think this is the Mae West quote, but if you ever want to go into a room and like be noticed and be the first person somebody sees, you wear black and white. It's a showstopper. It looks great. It pretty much works with any skin tone or hair color or anything, and it's just a classic go-to. So enough talk. Let's see the clothes. I found to start off this really great Ann Taylor skirt. It is uh, black and white. It's still an appropriate workplace length and I really like black and white floral. Uh, as I mentioned we you know we're coming into spring and summer and black and white floral will just kind of still be sophisticated but still work with the season. Uh, with this skirt, I would think about pairing it with a top like this. Um, it's just a really nice knit fabric, but it's got this chiffon ruffling around the neck and kind of into the cleavage area and some buttons so you could button it up depending on your modesty. And honestly, I think this would be really cute with like a bright colored cardigan. Um, I just, it would make it a little bit more appropriate for the weather and appropriate for the workplace, but still be really classic. Um, on top of that, I found this really great white skirt. It's just, you know, a basic linen skirt, but it would go with any color Oxford or pullover or um, sweater that you might already have. It's just one of those basic pieces. But I also thought it would be nice paired with this Kate Spade top. Oh, that got turned inside out. Hold on. This is the Kate. No, it wasn't turned inside out. Well, now I feel silly. But it's also kind of a silky uh, material. I really like uh, different feeling materials. I like different textures. I just kind of like experimenting with that. So here's another one. It's got ruffles around the neck, but it's also got this cute little tie in the front. Just really feminine, really cute, and fun put together. So, you know, I think all of these outfits would work really well in the workplace environment, on an interview, and you would still look young and trendy, but professional at the same time. So, that's enough, I think, for, you know, the work and the boring clothes. Not that they're boring, but 
here's some things that I thought would also be good for uh, the summer months and just kind of like hanging out in. So let me dig around. I have everything like all piled up over here. Okay. I really love this dress. It's uh, like this rust red color and it's got these uh, brown ribbons and it kind of, it's kind of like a Greek style dress and it looks like it would be so comfortable on and it would look good as you start getting tan throughout the summer and it's just this really nice comfortable fabric and that I think would be great for summer. I also really really love this dress. Um, it is got a little bit of a bustier on the front if you can kind of see that and it's got some underwiring here so you wouldn't necessarily have to wear a bra if you didn't want to but that's up to you. <laughs> um, it kind of cuts in with this soft gray fabric here and then it's got these really cute layers and some blue ribboning around the edge of each of them. I think this would be adorable with like a denim uh, vest and some sandals or some booties, anything really. It's just kind of one of those cute date night dresses, I guess. Uh, oh. This one's really nice too. It's got some green and some uh, coral color and pretty much any dress that has pockets wins me over. Cause I'm not a big purse girl. Most of the time I just kind of like to keep everything on me. And so dresses like this are awesome because I can just, you know, keep my lip gloss, my phone, my keys, my ID, a little bit of money in these little pockets and I don't have to worry as much. I also really like the buttons going all the way down. I just think that adds a little bit of extra, um, you know, intrigue to the piece. And the neckline is also really cute. I kind of like how it's got this whole folded over kind of thing. It would look great. Another cute date night, hang out with your friends, going out kind of dress. Okay, this is a really great, I think, beach kind of dress. It's uh, white. It reminds me of Mamma Mia. You know, there was a lot of blue and white in that movie. And this kind of reminds me of something you'd wear out on the beach or maybe by the lake or something. But it's this really soft cotton. And it's got this really cute floral um, embroidery here. It's got some yellow, some red, some pink. And it's also a little bit longer. So it's just kind of romantic and fun. And I just... Oh, it's got another little flower up here at the top with some, you know, blue earrings or some white shell earrings and just some sandals. I think this would be a really nice day shopping outfit going around to like little boutiques at a beach town or something. I mean, I say that because I live in a beach town, but, you know, make it work for you. It's an interesting piece. And guys, this would be like four to five dollars for this cute dress, right? Um, okay. Here's another dress I really liked. It's um, strapless and it's got some more wiring here. This is actually Forever 21, so where I, I would probably price this about $15 to $20, depending on you know what kind of day you go Forever 21. You get this for $5 at the thrift shop and it's like brand new. Looks like it's never really even been worn. But what I really like about it is it's got this adorable little belt. You see all these you know, little flowers, the purple flower tea. You can take the belt off and make your own belt. But you can also use the one they gave you, and it's, you know, kind of thick, and it's got these snaps on it. But it's also got this fun little uh, flower thing to cover it up. I don't know. I just thought that was really thoughtful, really cute. Kind of ties the whole outfit together. Maybe with some fun purple heels. It would be a great, great date night sort of dress. Okay, so to take a step away from casual cute dresses, hold on just a second. Oh, I picked up and found some of these really cute uh, skirts and tops. So this might be a little crazy. I might just be, you know, pushing the envelope a little too much. But I found these adorable printed shorts. They're a little long for my taste, but, you know, I guess I'm growing up. I got to I gotta try some new things. Um, but I really like uh, 
printed shorts. I think between that and I also picked up some um, bright green shorts from Old Navy. That these would all be four dollars, but um, bright color shorts, whether they be blue or pink or green, and pattern shorts are just. I think they're going to be a big hit this summer. So we'll see. But um, I really like these. I like the coral colored uh, medallion sort of pattern. It's got some brown and some green and some blue. And this might be crazy. But I think it would be interesting with this sort of flowy top here. This is all see-through. So you could either throw it on over your um, bikini top or over a like little uh, cami. But it's got the same sort of um, coral and green and blue. And it's a little bit of pattern clashing, but I think it would still kind of work because of the medallion circle-y kind of stuff. Like, that could just be me, but it'd be one of those outrageous things you could try. Just stepping outside of your comfort zone a little bit. So back to the green shorts. I found some really cute tops I thought would go with this as well. Um, this is a very fun springy shirt. It's actually Tory Burch. So this would be a boutique item, but it would still be very affordable. Um, it's got these great, it's navy, and it's got all these great colors. You've got some pink, some red, some yellow, some white, and the green, I think, would go great with these green shorts. You find a pair of Sperry's, put that on. You've got this cute little preppy springtime outfit. I just, I love this shirt. Um, we've also got this other fun shirt that I think would go well with the green pants. It's got, um some more prints on it. We've got some yellow, some blue, some green, you know, just something simple going out, hanging out by the pool kind of outfit. And then I also found this kind of flowy shirt as well. It's uh, pink and red and green and yet another top that would go well with your green shorts. Okay. Now some other interesting summer clothes. You got this uh, bright yellow top and it's got some pink and some purple, some floral, and it's also kind of ruched and ruffly around the sleeves and around the uh, neckline. And another cute little tie, just a nice little light peasant shirt. I don't know, you know, everyone is in different climates, but down here in Galveston and Houston, it gets really hot. So I just like having these kind of flowy tops that breathe real easily and don't get so yucky when you sweat. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. Another kind of fun top is this one here. Uh, this one's from The Limited. So it's not a name brand, so it would still be $3. Um, it's got some yellow, some blue, some darker blue, some black. And I just, I think this is a really interesting print. And it is uh, vertical, so it kind of slims you down versus being horizontal. And it's got these really nice flowy sleeves and a cute little button in the back. So, you know, just something you could pair with maybe some nice jeans. When it comes to jeans, though, I start to like them a little bit higher up. Uh, I don't like hip huggers. I feel like I'm always in danger of my crack showing. And I also kind of like uh, wider legs. And I love the wide uh, hem at the bottom of these pants too. Um, these are L brand. And they are also only $10. $10 for name brand jeans, guys. That doesn't happen very often. I've seen um, some seven jeans that weren't necessarily my size, but still like only $15. Some, um, you know, just brands that you would have to pay or uh, some Miss Me's. I saw those for like $20. And you know, normally those jeans are like 70 to $100. So finding them for these deals is just kind of almost unheard of. Um, I also really like pants that have pockets in the back. These are a little bit too little for me normally, but they have something and I really like the little buttons. I think that's cute. So yeah, this would be, I think, a really cute um, going to the movies sort of outfit. 
out to ice cream, that sort of thing. And then to wrap up my uh, fun summer clothes, I found this really adorable top. I really love, let me tie this into a cute little bow so you can see what I see. I really love this top. It's got some white, it's got some yellow, it's got this cute little cutesy turquoise and it goes on the little bow and on the bottom and I just think maybe with this and oh I'll show you what I was thinking. I found these adorable yellow wedges you know maybe with some shorts or under your jeans this would be a great just hanging out going out with some friends outfit as well so I'm gonna hold these aside because I think I have another outfit they go well with too so I don't want to get them out of my sight okay so that kind of wraps up our cute summer clothes and now I'm going to show you some pieces that I just fell in love with and they speak to my uh, you know 60s 70s soul so let's move on this is a little bit out of that decade but I just I couldn't pass it up this is such an interesting dress check it out it's that dark teal kind of like that other shirt that I showed you but it's velvet and, you know, I read a couple years ago that Velvet was coming back in, and I just haven't let go of it ever since. It just brings back the 90s in me. But the Velvet isn't even the coolest part. I love this intricate, you know, top part up here. I just think that would be so much fun and just one of those pieces that people would go like, wow, that is just really cool. Um, it also kind of cuts down a little bit in the back. I like that. And I just think it would show off, you know, your curves. You'd look really good in it. And then it's just one of those conversation starters, you know. And it's a great color. So I could I could not pass this dress up. It's a little on the weird side, I know. But too cute. Um, okay. Here's another dress that I just couldn't pass up again. It's a designer dress, so it's a little bit more expensive. But I don't know if you guys can see how much beading this dress has on it but it is this beautiful white and it's got all these green and turquoise and blue uh, looks like maybe like petals paisley I can't quite tell it's got this little bow in the front but I love the beading this is definitely a dress you probably have to wear at like an event or a really nice fancy date but it's just one of a kind it is beautiful it's a little on the heavy side and you definitely would probably I would want to pair it with some maybe like blue shoes, but you know, you might want to just let the dress speak for itself and get some just tan nude pumps, but it's beautiful. And I love how it cuts down a little bit here in the back. Just a really, really great piece. Um, okay. Oh, so here's the dress I was thinking would go good well with those uh, yellow pumps as well. It's a maxi dress. And there were not as many maxi dresses as I would have liked, but I think that might change as the summer months come in. Um, but it's this brown, this really pretty brown. It's got some um, yellow and some maroon, and it's just like, it's very retro. And it's this nice cotton, so it would be really comfortable, breathe really well. I just, I really like it. And you put it with those yellow pumps, or the yellow wedges, and... I just think you got yourself a great outfit there. <laughs> okay. Okay, all right. So I kept this one on the hanger as well so you can kind of see it. It's this really fun bustier. And I think with some, uh, some really like tight skinny black jeans, this is like a perfect clubbing outfit. It, um, it's got these pearl embellishments, a little bit of... Uh, sparklies right there and the uh, gold embroidery it's just it's great I think you know it would probably speak for itself maybe some cute little earrings would go too but this just reminds me of like going out to the club with my friends and showing it off while we still got it <laughs> uh, another good club piece 
And I mentioned in my About Me video that I like anything that sparkles, is I have this cute little top, it's knit, and it's got some black sequins, and I would definitely pair this with my black sequin hot shorts. You know, that and some booties or some high black heels, it's just, you know, you can't go wrong if you're going out to like a club or something. So I really like that, sparkles. Okay, and oh, these jeans. So I think the last time I wore embroidered, embellished kind of jeans was maybe back in like 2006, but I really, really want to bring them back again. So these pants are um, London jean, and check out the flower pattern on these jeans. You got the pink, the purple, the reds. I obviously like pink, purple, and red a lot, but uh, I just, I love these jeans. Think about all the cute little tank tops you could wear with it. I just, I don't know, they just speak to me. Uh, and I actually found a cute little, you know, tank top with a little bit of fun all around the neck and some embellishment there. And I just think, you know, it's pretty adorable. Um, okay, oh, and some other embellished jeans that I found were these guys. They've got some embroidery, they've got some patchwork, it's got some interesting bottom detail, uh, some beading here, and I just, like I said, if you just want to try some new jeans that aren't your standard uh, black or dark brown, or dark, not dark brown, uh, dark denim or light denim. I think these are just a really nice alternative. Um, here is another cute little breezy top that would go well in your hot weather that you could just throw over a swimsuit or a cami. Some more fun beading and embellishment going on here, yeah. More little ties and some uh, ruching and some ruffling around the uh, sleeves and at the bottom. Just really cute. This reminds me of something I would probably wear at like a festival. Maybe like Free Press Summerfest or Bonnaroo or I guess we miss Coachella, but I just think that would be great for that. Um, also, we have this cute little cover up. I like the tribal pattern and I like the little, I like all the colors. I just think, you know, if you just were wearing like a standard little black cami or purple or anything like that, this would just add a little bit of pop to your um, wardrobe. And I really like how it would tie right here at the bottom, you know, and so you've got a little tie, it'd be cute. And even, you could even wear it over a bikini top, you know, something like that. Just thinking of different ways to wear things. Um, okay, now I have to show you this outfit. It is adorable. So it starts out with this uh, silk dress that is just so nice. It comes cuts right above the knee and it's got um, some navy, some pink, some uh, purple and green and it's just a really fun pattern. Really comfortable. Um, everything is elastic so nothing cuts into you too much. And then I found these fantastic pumps. Check them out. It's got this like zigzag pattern and it's got blue and teal and then like a sparkly teal. And I just think these two together, so cute. You know, that's just me. I think this would be a great date night. You got the little peep toe, so make sure you have a, you know, petty going on. And then I'm gonna wrap up with my favorite piece that I found. Oh, good thing, my battery's about to die. I have found this fantastic long skirt. Check it out, y'all. That's just, that's beautiful. I would probably wear it with, you know, a top that showed a little bit of midriff, but it just speaks to my inner flower child. It's got this uh, rust orange and some black and some uh, lavender. I just... I really love this skirt. It's kind of heavy and I can't figure out why, but when you put it on, it's not that bad at all. And I just, I don't know, you don't find things like this at 
your de regular department stores. And that's why I just really love thrift shopping. I really love everything that I found at the cottage shop. Um, I also got a really cool couch that I'm hoping I'll get into my apartment soon and I can sit on it next time and show you some more cute clothes. But thank you again for stopping in for my haul and I really hope I inspired you to go thrift shopping or go check out the cottage shop and find your own little treasures. Anyway, have a great day evening, afternoon, and I hope to see you back. Bye!